Good morning, everyone. Welcome to July 12th Market Minute. I'm John Hopkins, President of Invested Central. Right now, we get the Dow futures down 89, the S&P futures are down 10, and NASDAQ futures are down 16. Asian shares were mixed, while European shares were lower overnight. Futures were higher once again ahead of the bell on Wednesday, much like Tuesday, with traders wondering if early gains could hold. The market did start off on a positive note, but when the Fed released its minutes from its last meeting, the market moved into sell-off mode. By the time the market closed, the Dow Nasdaq lost ground, while the S&P remained flat. Today we'll get weekly jobless claims, with the market expecting 375,000 claims. We get earnings from fast enough, with the market expecting 37 cents per share. On the S&P, we've got the 20-day moving average at 13.43, the 50-day at 13.35, and the 200-day at 13.05. The S&P closed at 13.41 with support at 13.34, resistance at 13.74. Wednesday was pretty much a repeat of Tuesday, with early promise fading late in the day. But, once again, the Bears had the opportunity to inflict even more pain and failed, with the S&P ending flat for the day. Notice how the gap between the 20-day and 50-day moving average on the S&P is widening, a positive development that could ultimately take the market higher. And as long as 1334 holds here, the market should be good to go. The VIX was lower on Wednesday by over 4%, even though the Dow and NASDAQ were in the red. This tells me that there's something going on underneath the action that is actually bullish. Accordingly, it would not surprise me to see the market make a move to the upside, and sometime soon. This is John Hopkins. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another Market Minute.